Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Good to see you today. Uh, we're going to be doing a really thorough examination and um, just general look at the hands today. I know you have joint pain and you have some issues and swelling, things like that, um, but we'll also just um, really just do a very detailed look at the hands uh, to document everything, okay? Sounds good. Wonderful. So I'll just have you um, first sanitize your hands, so lay them out for me, please. And I'm just going to spray here. Just leave them there for one second. And please flip them over for me. For initial inspection, I am going to put some gloves on. That way, if there are any um, scrapes or uh, open wounds, I can avoid um, getting any of my germs in them. And then, as long as everything looks okay, I'll remove them for the rest of the exam. Okay. okay. We start out by just taking a basic look. I'm not seeing any open wounds, any scrapes, bruising. There is nothing on the fingernails, no um, signs of infection or uh, fungus or anything like that. Let me check this side. I'm going to take a quick look with my light. Put the hand for me, please. Okay, this side. Looking here. Checking the arms as well. Noting the even hair distribution. And a couple of small freckles there, but nothing raised. It's just a little bit, um, maybe a little dry patch or something right there, or is that a scrape? Did you scrape your hand? Um, I think it's a, just a dry patch. Just a dry patch, okay. Let me flip the hand over for me, please. Again, just a really small flat freckle there. And that all looks fine. So I'll go ahead and move these and continue the examination. So I want to start out by just doing all of the physical uh, movement of the hands and the strength of the hands. That way if there's any weakness or any pain, I can avoid that in further testing and measuring and things like that, okay? Um, so I'm going to have you make a few motions for me. First, just want you to start up and down. Any pain with that? No. Okay. Can you, um, keeping my hands on your wrist, go side to side. Very good. Okay, up like this. Can you move your thumb up and down? Good. I want to try all those things just against my resistance. So starting with your hands up like this. Don't let me pull them. Okay, now don't let me push them. Okay, and with the thumb, same thing. Nice and strong. Very good. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. And don't let me push them in. And this side. Put them together nice and close and don't let me pull them apart. Good. Okay, 
flex the hands for me. I want you to just lift each finger individually by itself, starting with this finger. Can you do some that? Some of them might come up at the same time, but very good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm just gonna hold down the rest of your fingers and I want you to lift up and see how high you can lift. Okay, now with this one. Any pain with that? No. Okay, and same thing on this side. Um, just lift up the thumb, pointer, middle, ring, and pinky. Okay, very good. Um, I want you to uh, do your best to just curl every finger for me, like that. I know one of those fingers was swollen, so I can see a little bit of change there, but other than that, no issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you touch each finger now? Just going into neurological for just a moment while you have your hands up like this. And can you stretch your finger all the way across here? Very good. So out like this one more time, and I just want you to push against me here and push against me there. Push and push. Okay, so strength is very good, range of motion is very good. I'm just going to check side to side for symmetry for the range of motion. So I'm um, starting with this one, just lift it up as far as it can go. And now I'll do it on this side. I just want to check. And actually slightly more range of motion on this side, but nothing um, concerning. Down like this. Okay, and the other side. And that's exactly the same. So let's move on to measuring. I'm just going to be taking a couple of quick measurements and just recording them on my pad here, so let me grab that. And besides that, just that little bit of swelling, um, any um, changes in um, the fingers, no other swelling, uh, no injuries, impacts, anything like that, that would change the size of the fingers at all? No. Okay, wonderful. So I'm just going to make some notes here. So just trying to get a general sense of symmetry side to side. Not too concerned about the length of the fingers, but rather just the evenness. It's very even. Slightly longer on this side than that side. Just make sure the wrist joints are lined up here. They are, but mildly. And that's absolutely fine. I'm going to take a wrist circumference. 16.5, and I'm going to get just above your arm a little bit here. 22, and that's the right. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm getting the wrist, and there is a little bit of about a one centimeter difference side to side. Um, we'll go ahead and check that one for pain to see if there's any swelling you might not have even noticed. And I just quickly have you flip your hands. I want to get across the palms. And that's pretty similar side to side. Okay, so let's go ahead and just palpate every um, part of the joints now. We'll come back to this in just a moment. So I did notice that there was pretty big difference in the wrist size. It could just be some asymmetry side to side, but let's just make sure. I do feel a little bit of swelling. There's definitely a little bit of edema there. So you see if I press down my thumb, it takes a second to come back versus this side. There's nothing there, right? Mm -hmm. I can even feel that. Mm -hmm. 
So there's definitely a little bit of swelling here. We can focus on that when we do a little bit of the massage to get the hands completely relaxed. Just feeling down. Each just relax completely in my hands here. And it's the other hand that was bothering you before, correct? Yes. Okay. So all the fingers here feel very um, typical. No swelling. Okay. This side, so. This is the injured finger, so I'll be gentle, but I definitely do still feel quite a bit of swelling there in that jammed finger. These further ones feel okay. And definitely a little bit of swelling in the palm as well. So whatever is bothering the wrist is also swelling up the rest of the hand. Okay. So just flipping back over for me, I'm going to take a look at the nail beds. You said no problem with any sort of, um, are there any bumps or anything you've noticed on the nails, any white um, spots, anything like that? Um, not really. Okay. Looks like you keep the nails nice and short, which is good. Very clean underneath. Do cap refill, so it's going to be me pressing each nail. I'm just seeing how quickly it can return. And it's really brisk. Okay, check for clubbing. Can you just do this with each of your fingernails? And the next one? Next. Okay, and while you have it up, could you go like this? Tell me if there's any tingling, especially in this wrist. I'm curious if maybe a little bit of that swelling is like a carpal tunnel. No. no. Can you put them up like this and push them against each other? Any pain with that? No. Okay, go ahead and relax. All right, Jeremy, so uh, the last thing I want to do before we move on to doing some really closer looking at the skin itself is just, again, just check that symmetry side to side um, with the how far you can open and close your fingers, so that range of motion there. So I just want you to open them as wide as you can without straining, without being in pain. I'm just going to use this tool here. So a little bit more range of motion on this side, the healthy side, for the whole palm. Fingers look pretty good there. Just going to go finger to finger. A little less here too. It's pretty similar. And even more range of motion on this side, and just measuring the wrist now like this as well. And definitely can feel the difference between that and that, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah, so the whole palm of the hand, the wrist and palm of the hand are very swollen on that. Um, that right side. So we have the right side. There was swelling and asymmetry on the wrist from finger one to two, from finger two to three, four to five was okay, and the wrist and the palm all had some differences. All right, while I have this out, go ahead and get some photographs of your hands. So I just want you to stay nice and still. I'm gonna take a picture of the front of the palm. Okay, this side. And flip over for me, please. So setting this here, and it'll take a really close look with this microscopic lens at the wrist, uh, the skin itself rather, okay? So I'm just going to be watching on the screen here and taking some photos as I go. So again, okay, just relax. This 
So we're seeing good, nice, even hair distribution. Just gonna note a little bit of vein showing there. I'm just looking at this dry spot here as well. That basically just looks like, a, yeah, exactly a little dry patch. But there's no other issues with the rest of the skin. Just taking a look at this nail bed here. There's just a little bit of um, discoloration. Almost just looks like you banged your finger or something. Do you remember that happening yeah, at all? Yeah, possibly. Okay. Taking a look back down here. Just gonna get on the side of the wrist where the hair is a little bit thicker. Totally normal, just making a note. Okay, and on the side. We'll just compare side to side and that looks really normal there. So one little freckle right here. We'll just note to watch that. And that looks okay. That as well. Can you flip your hands over for me, please? He's doing the same thing on the inside, just getting some base lines. Maybe a little bit of dryness here. We can definitely just take care of that with a little bit of oil and the massage. Okay, on the side, one little freckle here. Okay, just checking the rest of the hands. Nothing particular to note. Okay, that looks fine. And just a couple little things that we have logged here, but nothing that would um, suggest needing further investigation. Jeremy, I'm going to do your reflexes. So I want you to just go really, really loose in my hand. And I'm going to just do this one here. Very good. And put your hand this way. Just completely relax here. Okay. Same thing over here. Hand here, same as any reaction. Okay. On this side. Okay. Lay your hands nice and flat for me. I'm just going to test for any pain uh, that might be uh, nerve pain, that might be shooting pain kind okay. of thing, instead of just me pressing. And you're going to feel just a little tap like that. Mm -hmm. Is that too uncomfortable for you? Um, no, that was fine. Okay, so just tell me if you feel any shooting nerve pain. No pain or discomfort so far? Um, no. Okay. Just flip your hand. I'm going to do it very quickly. Shouldn't be too much of a nerve response here, except for perhaps on that carpal tunnel. Nothing there? Mm, no. And that's all okay. Yeah. Okay, moving on to this side. Everything okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay, flip over. We'll just do a couple of those little spots. Again, any pain there on that carpal tunnel? No. Nothing, okay. 
So that swelling must be caused by something else because you're not having um, any signs of that nerve being compressed in any way. No tingling or numbness or anything like that. Okay. So, so far everything's looking really good, Jeremy. Let's go ahead and test the uh, sensory nerves in the hands. And I'm gonna do quite a few tests here that are gonna have different purposes. Um, but first starting out, just making sure you can feel all the sensation. So for this one, I want you to lay your hands out flat this way. And I just have a really light little piece of cotton here. And I just want you to close your eyes and say yes when you feel me touch you, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 flip your hands over. Good. Yes. 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 All right. So your basic sensory function is intact. Um, next, I want to see if you can differentiate between different feelings. Um, so I'm going to have um, two little different things here. One of them is sort of like a brush like that. It's rough, but it's, it's not uh, pointy. And the other one is more like a little pin. Um, and this one is quite pointy and sharp, but it won't um, break the skin. Do you feel the difference between that and mm -hmm. that? Yes. Okay. Um, I won't go too hard, um, but I want, just want you to tell me if you feel soft or sharp, okay? Okay. Um, sharp. Soft. 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 Sharp. Soft. Soft. Good. This side? Sharp. Sharp. Soft. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Soft. Can you flip this hand over for me, please? Sharp. 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 Soft. 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 And this side? Sharp. Sharp, soft, Sh soft. Good. Sharp, soft, soft, sharp, sharp. Okay. So you did just get one or two wrong, but when I went back into the area, you were able to tell the difference. So I must have just hit you at kind of a weird angle. All right now I have um, something that's called a Wartenberg wheel. And this is a very sharp tool again, and it's really meant to test um, if you have any sensation loss of that sharp all the way down. So you may have been able to tell if it was sharp versus soft, but you may not have noticed if the sharp was not as sharp all the way, okay? So I want you to open your hands for me this way first. And I'm just gonna run it very gently down each finger like that, okay? I want you to tell me, is there any change in that sensation? What about there? No. Okay, I'll just keep going and let me know if there's any change. All the same? Yeah. I want you to flip your hands. I'm going to just do the same thing in a couple of key spots in the back. So um, the nerves are separated into different sections. So we'll test these two fingers, these two fingers, and then the thumb. So we'll just go here. Does that feel the same? Mm hmm Here? Mm-hmm. And here? Yeah. Okay. Here. Here. And here. Mm-hmm. And no change coming down the arm, correct? Nope. All right. A couple of things, last two things here, Jeremy. Um, I've got a little puff of air, just really light. And you are going to hear a sound, but I really want you to focus on if you feel it, because I'll be tricking you and pointing it other directions, okay? So just close your eyes 
and just say yes when it, we feel a little puff of air. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Put this hand over for me, please. Yes. 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 Okay, doing this side now. Yes. 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 Good. Keep your eyes closed. I want you to tell me what that feels like. Uh, cold. Okay. What does that feel like? Warm. Okay. Tell me cold or warm. Cold. Warm. 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 Cold. Warm. Cold. Good. Warm. Okay. And do this side. Cold. 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 Warm. Flip the hand for you, please. Warm. Warm. Cold. Warm. Cold. Okay, while they're both open, I want you to tell me what you feel. What does that feel like to you? A uh, vibration. Tell me when it goes away. It's gone. Okay. What does that feel like to you? Vibration. Tell me when it stops. It's gone. Vibration. It's gone. Hmm. Fresh. Good. So it looks like all your sensation is completely intact, Jeremy. I'm not worried about anything. Um, I'm just going to um, do a couple last little tests. Uh, they're not about whether you can um, feel it, but rather a specific thing about it. So I'm going to just start uh, with drawing something in your hand. And it's going to be a number. It's going to be facing you. And I want you to close your eyes and tell me what number I'm writing. Three. Seven. Very good. Can you do the other hand for me, please? And again, it's going to be a number. One. Zero. Okay. Stay there. I've got just a couple, a pair of t uh, points here. So it's either going to feel like that, one point, or like that, two points. You feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell me one or two. One. Two. One. One. Okay, good. Two. Two. Good. One. Two. One. One. All right, well, you were able to discern those really, really well, actually, even when I um, brought the points down close. So um, I think we are all set there. Uh, I Honestly, you're looking really healthy. Um, everything seems to be functioning. So we'll just go ahead and relax the hands. We'll do a little bit of um, quick massage just to um, sort of loosen up from everything we did today. And then also maybe try and take care of some of that swelling right here. Does that sound all right? Sounds great. Okay, so I'm just gonna put out a towel here. Go ahead and put your hands down. Just do a little bit of massage. I'll try and be gentle with that one finger especially because it is still bothering you, right? Mm -hmm. Is it as bad as before? No, it isn't. Good.
I'm just let that one flat down. How's everything feeling now, Jeremy? Feels good. Good. Okay. Well, I hope that this was an informative and helpful session for you today. Um, and uh, just come back if you need anything else. Thank you so much. Thank you.